Hi friends, welcome to WebChamp. So in this video, I am going to discuss how we can change the formatting of canvas in the Power BI. Let's understand what is a canvas. So whatever you can see, uh, the white page uh, inside the dotted line. So this is referred as a canvas. Why? Because on this or in this area only, you will be able to build your visuals. You can create the visuals in this area only. Okay. The, uh, outside of this line, you will not be able to create the or add the visuals to your report. Okay. And let's see how we can uh, format this. Okay. So uh, we have three types of pins, filter pin, visualization pin, and data pin. Okay. And to work with visuals, we need, obviously, we need to know the filters and we need to know the visualizations. Okay. So before creating the visualizations, we can uh, modify this content, I mean, the canvas also. Okay. So if you click on the blank, blank canvas, and if you go to the formatting, so here you can see that the page information by default, what is this page? Okay, if you want to change the title of this page, you can change the title from there also. Or if you want to double click, you can change the title from there also. Okay, it's up to you from where you wanted to make the changes. Okay, then uh, if you want to change the canvas setting by default, it is a type ratio. Okay, you can select the another ratio also. It will reduce the size then letter. Okay, and then tooltip. Okay then custom okay and here when you select the customs you will be able to define the size okay i will say uh height as a 600 pixel and width as a thousand pixel okay or 800 pixel it's up to me what size i want to select okay then there is something called okay uh, what is the position okay by default it is the top but if you say middle so accordingly it will Work, it will change okay so when the size is uh perfectly fitting to the can i mean our screen size then it will not change but yes if i say okay this is 200 uh, by 200 and yes in that case okay the middle is going to work okay if i select top and if i select the middle so it is going to work but i don't want this much size okay i will give this 600 by 800 Okay, width height is 600, width is 800, and this is fine for me. Okay, so like this, you can change the size of your page. Then uh, if you want to change the background color, uh, you can change the background color. Okay, but canvas background, okay, fine. So this change the canvas background since uh, we have canvas background uh, is different and Let's say wallpaper is different. Wallpaper comes in this uh, dotted area. Okay. Even if I select this, okay. Instead of this, what I will do, I will uh, keep the size a little bit smaller. 300 by 500, I will say. Okay. This is what my size. And if I, okay, no, 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 no. I don't want to create any visuals right now. So I'm just here to show you formatting. Okay, background and okay. So this color is not reflecting because the transparency is hundred percent. Okay, if I reduce this transparency, you will be able to change the background of canvas. Right, background of canvas. So uh, it will work. Meaning your canvas will be considered as an only dotted area and between these dotted lines or this between this square square or rectangle or whatever you want to consider, you can consider. If you want to add any image as a background image, you can go and you can select the image. So, okay, that image will come. Then how you want to fit the image? Okay, if I say fit, it will fit the image also. Fine. Then uh, if you if you say transparency is hundred percent, nothing will be visible to you. If you say transparency is zero, image will be more clear on the. This is so you can manage the transparency from here. 
of the background image or background color whatever you select then if you want to add wallpapers okay you can add wallpaper also if i select this okay so wallpaper will cover the entire page not the canvas and if you want to add image to the wall uh, wallpaper you can add image also so it is fine okay so in this way you can make the changes and then you can manage the transparency by default or transparency is zero for this you know, wallpaper you, you have option to change the image fit type okay if i say fill uh it, it will work so it looks like this okay if i say fit it will be matched as per the size okay then uh we have something called filter pane okay so if you wants to do uh, some changes to this filter pane so what we can do we can go here and if you want to change the size okay filter pane you can change the size of filter pane text okay. so i will say i will keep this as in 12 then if you want to change the color let's say it will change the color of all this text then if you want to change the color of input so if i say okay so meaning the search bar is there okay that is what going to change then uh, if you want to change the color of color or style of header so you can change the header size also then uh, if you want to change the font size of text uh, search box you can change that you want to show the border or not it's up to you okay and it will gives you to select the border color okay if i select this it will not show any as a border but if i change this so accordingly changes will be happen then if you want to ch change the background color of filter okay so you can change the background color also let's say yellow so you can change this then transparency you can manage to work how this works okay and then uh, you have options also to set the width of this pane okay i don't want this pane to be uh, at this size i will manage this to 100 pixel i think this is uh, this should be i mean this pane must be greater than 180 pixel okay then uh, apply to apply and check boxes so this is only for the check boxes whenever we uh, we try to add the filter so this will comes in a picture okay so i don't want uh, this background okay rather it white background looks good or pretty so this is how you can uh, change the filter pane and visualization pin or wallpaper of your canvas so i hope you like the content of this video thank you so much for watching the video have a nice day